Dave, thanks for talking to us. Another three points on the board. I think at the end of the 90 minutes, that's team one. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Without, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I think we did see the impact of five subs. Um, you know, we were a bit short. So today we had four defenders on the bench and a young goalkeeper. Um, whereas they had five players that gave them a bit more energy and you could see that in the game. But then, you know, they had to resort to long balls. Long balls forward, long balls into the box to get a lucky ricochet and get a goal and get some back in it. I don't think there was any. And suddenly it's all sort of like hands to the pump, but it should have been done and dusted a long time before that. First half should have been done and dusted. Kirk has had a few chances the second half. You know, their goal changes the game, it does. But up until that point, yeah, we're having to work hard. They did make us work hard in that second half, but. I never felt threatened there. I think they had one shot from long distance that will spilled up to that point. You know, a couple of a couple of crosses. And George Keeper flash run across the box, but I don't think there's anyone free in the middle. And like I say, we've had we've even had chances all second half. Gerke's had a couple of chances where he should have shot and then he's run round the wrong side of Ollie Finney and what have you. So yeah, the best team won. We spoke, I think, yesterday about how satisfying it is for you to watch and your management team and your coaches to watch how, how they play. The supporters are now seeing that you play some outstanding football and tearing teams apart and, and dominating. Yeah, they, they can be all words. How do you feel when you're watching this? We've, we've won a couple of games, then. You know, have you been on the Sherry? No. All right, okay. <laughs> we've, we're, we're going all right. All right. That's it. You got off with a, a terrific goal, a, a, an outstanding first goal. The, the, what's all crew about? Win the ball in there, off of the field, and, yeah. and away you go. I, I said to one of the directors, I sat in the director's box first half, and I sort of leaned forward and across four seats, and I said, you want to walk on the walk on the pitch at the end of the game, because there's a sixpence in there, six-yard box, where Tom Lowry just put that ball. It was an exquisite ball. And Kirk has just drifted in and, and took it away. It was, it was, a, it was an exquisite ball. Exquisite ball, it's a top top draw ball, and uh, and a good finish. You know, and then Owen's obviously done his bit as well, and that's four in four for the for the action man. Yeah, I was going to get on, get on to that in a moment's time. It's back to Tom Lowry, who took a bit of time to settle himself down with the injury. He was out for a long time. He looks as though he's back, relishing his football and enjoying it now. He, he, he's yeah. back to strength. It, it was good first half. Then he, he ran out of legs second. But one thing you can guarantee with Tom, he will run all day. Honestly. He's as fit as a butcher's dog, and I'm pretty certain if a Chris Bracket blew across Crestwood Road, he'd chase that as well. Because that's just the kind of fellow he is. He's a terrific lad. You know, he'll give everything, absolutely everything. And like I say, he's, I think he found it tough physically that second half, and if we had midfielders on the bench, we'd have probably made changes, but he had to dig in, and that's what he did. And, it, and like I say, their, their best player, Danny May, goes off after an hour. Um, so credit to him and the other midfielders. And like I say, he's. He was one of many who played well against me. Just going back to Owen Dale again, he he, he won that ball and, and got himself going, and he made it a nightmare for the first 45 minutes for his marker. Yeah. But then he's got confidence to, to, to get his shot on target. That's the first thing. Like I say, that's four in four for him. It's not it's not three in a three in a one and two we are scoring. That's four in four games, four different opponents. Like I say, I think Kellen Watts has probably gone to. Play in hospital to have his blood untwisted after 45 minutes facing him first half. He was he was exceptional and he, he went a long way for us to win in the game. The disappointment was that late goal that came your way because you should have been done and dusted yeah, yeah. with the amount of chances that you made. Unfortunately, he did come, but you, you still you still kept going and yeah. still got through it. Yeah, look, he was a ball in the box. It's ricocheted to the land. It stuck it away. It wasn't a, a well crafted goal. We haven't been opened up. And you say sometimes, yeah, you can stop the cross and there's other bits and bobs, but. Sometimes you just have to say that they've had a bit of luck. And I think that's what it wants. Does it show how much your side is, is, is growing when you think about what Ryan Lowe did? I think it's the first time ever that he's played that type of formation. Is that what you, you're going to get up against? That teams are now trying to come up against, try to stop you? I don't know. You'll have to ask the opposition managers every week. Um, you know, we, we'll just do our stuff and we'll keep playing and we'll keep getting better. That's the plan. N nothing else. Keep improving, fellas. You know, not for me. Yourselves. I'm just here to help you. I'm here to help you get better. I'm here to help you recognise your weaknesses and your flaws and your strengths. I'm working on more.
every single one of you. And if you're prepared to do that, I'll help you till, you know, till the cows come home. And all the lads are saying they want help and they want to get better. And I think you can see that. I think if you saw our, anyone who saw Lincoln in the Cup, first game of the season, and Charlton at home here, I think we're, we're a far better team. And we, like I said, we're heading in the right direction. How strong were those two lads at centre half? I thought, I said to them, first thing I said, I thought they were exceptional. I thought they were exceptional. I thought they were the best two players on the pitch. Showing great professionalism as well, both of them. You know, it's a new club for. I know Ollie Lancashire last year, last year, first time for everyone back. They, they're buying into to, to what you're all about. That's it. That, you're right. That's it. I think they come up with different. They, they had a completely different challenge Saturday, last Saturday, in terms of on the ball, in terms of one up front. They had one up front early on, Newbley, similar to Saturday, Harry Smith, but a different way of playing. They had to play differently um, in, in position and out position. Then they get two up front, then they get two darts up front, a big, oh, big and a little one, then they get two little ones up front. I don't think it matters what they've thrown at them tonight, they, answer, they had the answers and they were terrific.